friends, welcome to Church Creative Guy. Who's up for some super simple projection mapping? So what is projection mapping? Well, basically the idea is you are projecting something on a non-traditional screen, maybe a 3D object or some other kind of surface. And the idea is the content that you're projecting matches the screen or the object that you're projecting upon. So there are dozens of ways to do projection mapping from really complex software and stuff that you would see like in the opening ceremony at the Olympics. But we like simple here at Church Creative Guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do it using some boxes and a piece of software that costs less than 50 bucks. For this project, you'll need a projector since it's called projection mapping. You'll also need a computer and a way to connect that computer to your projector. Normally I'm not a fan of HDMI, but for runs of fewer than six feet, it'll be fine. You'll need boxes or some other 3D object that catches light really well, like a chloroplast tower. Once you get the hang of it, we can move on to more complicated shapes like this. The principles are still the same. Ready? Let's map. You're also going to need a piece of software for video playback. In this case, I'm using ProPresenter 6 because that's what our church uses for uh, our worship presentation software. And as you can see, I've got the full resolution of the projector aiming at the boxes that I set up earlier. And so this isn't really mapped yet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the projector only hit the boxes with your projection. The screen graphics that I'm gonna be using for this example uh, come from several different places. One is Church Motion Graphics and the other one is Visual Media Church. They both make outstanding uh, presentation video uh, and stock video for your worship environment needs. And the piece of software that we're, that we're going to use to do the mapping comes from Crowd Control Games and they make all kinds of crazy stuff. I highly recommend you check them out. Uh, but here it is right here, Masquerade, and it's 50, 45 bucks for a one-time deal. So it's a great, great piece of software. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to Masquerade and turn that on. And right now, ProPresenter is pushing the video for playback and we're going to use Masquerade to build our mask, all right, that we're gonna to map to in a minute. And it's kind of a multi-step process. And so first we're going to turn on Masquerade and I've got it set to our secondary projector. And when I hit that, you can see the screen goes completely black. So now I'm going to come over with my mouse and actually draw on the projection surface in real time I'm gonna right click to start my box, and I'll come over to the corner, click, click, right click again, and now that one is complete. And I'll come down to the next one, right click to start, click, click, and right click. And I'll come down to these boxes down below, right click, click, click. Let's go right there, click, 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 and click. Now we'll come to this one, and we'll start on the tower at the bottom. And come over right here, click again, and click again. And now, oop, I didn't click it. There we go, now it's done. So now I can come back to my screen over here, and you can see I've basically got three shapes. Uh, that are the shapes of the ones up there. If I want, I can be really precise and nudge the points and get them uh, exactly where I want them, but this is just a kind of a rough example to show you. So now I'm going to export, and I'm uh, Masquerade will export what you've just created as a PNG. So let's just call this one sample, sample, I can't spell, sample, and we're gonna put it on the desktop. Yeah, replace the one that's already there, great. And now we're going to come over into ProPresenter and I'm going to click Mask. And uh, let's edit a bit. So here we are, we're gonna create a new one. And now we'll come down to, uh, we're gonna import a media file, in this case, the sample PNG that I just created, there it is. Select and boom. Now we've got a mask custom made from our boxes 
and we can now map the video to it. We'll just select that mask. And uh, you can see on the hot screen here, I've still got Masquerade on, so that's why it didn't go through. Let me turn that off. And now, Masquerade is done. Now what we are seeing is a, a video feed from ProPresenter into uh, or through our mask layer into the boxes. And we can change our video, our background. We can, uh, the ones with lines are pretty cool because it kind of gives the effect that it's going across. Uh, it's one screen. In other words, you've got these windows that are, you're looking through the windows into what lay beyond. Um, abstract images are really great, but sometimes real footage of actual stuff out in nature is great too. Um, if you had some giant letters that spelled I am, you could map it and put some flames behind it, and now you've got a custom-built lesson on Exodus 3, right, with the burning bush. You may have noticed this significantly more complicated design uh, behind the simple boxes that we did. Well, this is just coroplast that I cut into triangles, duct taped together, and bolted it to the top. And now we've got a custom made staging that I was able to use Masquerade to map out where the video went, even got a space here dedicated just for lyrics. So I hope this was able to give you some ideas and some inspiration about basic projection mapping and how maybe you could use it in your worship context. Of course, there are lots of applications from staging to storefront and digital signage, but in a worship context, what we want is to create engaging environments that lead people to Jesus and let the message of God be heard, to set the stage for God to penetrate our ears and our hearts and our spirits. Hey, thanks for watching. Click like, hit subscribe. As always, pray for creativity and may God get the glory.